All right, so uh, this movie definitely was on my to watch list, and um, from how sequels have gone of them remaking them, they haven't been really going well. Um, so I was hoping, really hoping much that this would actually be good. And um, before I get into what I, if it was or not for me, I honestly would say they they definitely did touch up a lot of, of how the first one was. You know, this, this movie was back when uh, Zombie Poplix was like a huge thing around, um, you know, back when I was in high school. And um, I this is one of my top favorite movies next to Shaun of the Dead. And my humor, humor was back back then was different and um has changed since then um definitely some uh, i guess you could say funny parts in there i wasn't really laughing at anything but more of a smirk and um uh, they they definitely did a good job on the writing and the chemistry of it I will say, though, that the blonde girl was actually getting on my nerves the first half of the movie. Um, she's she's what you call an airhead, and um, it was just freaking annoying. Um, but in the end, the movie actually did a good job of uh, kind of going on what the first one had. Um characters and the themes and the kind of tropes on there I I, I definitely love the movie um, I uh, definitely would watch to the end of the uh, end of the credit scenes um, there's definitely a cutscene there I won't say what it is but I thought it was interesting wasn't expecting that. Um, and I wasn't expecting that I was going to love this movie as much as I did. I thought I was going to like it. Um, you know, it was going to be okay. Honestly, it kind of, uh, did the, it was like the first one, except I would have to argue, say a little bit better than the first one. And the first one was great. Um, so it, I definitely was not disappointed, but like I said, the blonde chick was just getting on my nerves the whole first half of the movie. And... You know, it's just, but the movie's so good that it kind of just, you just deal with the, the blonde chick. Um, the hippie guy in there, too, was a bit annoying, but not anywhere as annoying as the freaking airhead. Um, but, you know, enough about that. I would give this rating, this movie rating of five out of five stars. And, um, I hope you have enjoyed it, um, or if you haven't seen it, uh, please do check it out. Um, definitely a, a must-see. Uh, definitely a great sequel that to something, you know, that's already been out there a while, or just has a heavy fan base put that's not, you know, run down with dumbness and or garbage, and it's just not garbage. So I'm pretty happy about this. Um, but anyways, let me know what you think about the movie when, uh, down in the comments down below. And um, have a good day, everyone.